Okay, I'm going to give you an up close and personal look at the kit fox that you've seen in the YouTube videos. This is it right here. There's a dashboard in the front. Or sorry, a dashboard wing tank in the front. There it is right there. You can see right through there. We got a, a, two wing tanks back here. That's how you turn them on and off. There's your flap runs with the wings all fold up. Bag of sack with all kinds of stuff back there. The upholstery. Okay, it reminds me of a Greek restaurant or a Greek Oreos. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, we just take the windshield off to change it. You see it's cracked all the shit. Down the wings here. They got vortex generators on them. You know what? Never taking them off. Some of them have flown off. They work pretty good. Gas caps. They're the original ones. We're good. The, everything's fared up on this pretty well. They got gap covers on at the back of the tail there on top of the horizontal stabilizer. Pedal cover right there. That right there. Probably need a bit of fabric work right there. The tail wheel spring broke off there a couple years ago in the winter. So uh, I just welded, but we had to put rags on and weld it back up, and I put Tedlar tape on top of that. So it's flying flown out for this a third year like that now. Anyway, the paint on here is just cheap white paint. It's paint on over polytone. This is purple polytone that's on here. Guy wants to finish it, but you know what? What do you call this, Derek? It's not a hanger queen. She's no hanger queen. This one. Not this a hanger nice queen. Fly. Could probably the shiniest thing on is the bloody wheels, which I've never polished in my life. The exhaust chutes out there, it covers the landing gear. I don't pulse my landing gear, none of that stuff. It's got a radiator, a radiator scoop on it right there. Vortex generators in the front. This helps turbulate the air a bit. It gets better cooling into that radiator right there. Bigger outlets at the back side right here, both sides. You see that on both sides, I made those. That's my modest cowl. Now at the front, you'll notice a big lump right here. Well, you know what that is? That's a tuned pipe. I built several of them over the years. This one here is actually one used to be called the R&D pipe inside of there. That's how I got it configured inside of there. Rubs on the cowl, but you know, this is a cowl that I've made this ring cowl. I got the mold for it, so not a big deal to make a new one again. It's a Rotex 582 blue head. Works fantastic. Oil injection tank right there. There's all your radiator stuff. Terminal block down for the wiring. There's my uh, Cadillac wiring job. Most of the wiring on here is Tefcel, so it is compliant with all uh, Transport Canada rules. Derek's just unscrewing that thing right there. I'll move the light out of his way. That's going to open right up. These tires are actually King go. Fox wheels on here. There's a dashboard. Oh. Now, this is probably about the plushest thing in the whole plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, standard gauge is what you see in there. I got an ICOM H with your radio in here, and a Garmin sometimes. Tiny Tack works good. Yeah, there you go. Tires, low pressure tires, just keep it nice there. Wing shroud stain on this side, all fared up. This is a nice little idea here. When you, that's the bearing for your flapper on brackets there. Anyway, all the way down there. See, the paint's gonna come out of the spot, but you know what? What the hell? VGs have been off here, they're on here. You know what? I'd like to play around them more one time and see what would happen if I could make them better. Cause you know what? They do make a bit of a difference. I wouldn't set my, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too excited about them, but they certainly don't hurt. If you want to store in vortex generators, I can do that in another video. Anyway, that's what you see. What you see is what you get. This is a plane that works, and as you can see by the hundreds of videos I have on YouTube, it's a damn fine working plane. Works good. I jump in this plane, fly it anywhere, anytime. Floats or skis? No problem. Yeah, it's got floats, skis, and the floats are amphibian floats. The one float, when I took them off this year, the last day I took them off fly before I took them off, first time they went off in three years. And you know what? The left main gear. Something went screwy in there. I think there's a piece of fiberglass broken out. I had that once before in a float and I fixed it. So now it's going to need a little repair there again. But other than that, that's life. I'm going to um, sign off. Oh, I should tell you about the propeller. The propeller is a warp drive, 68 inch. Phenomenal working prop. You can look at my videos. Uh, stainless steel leading edge or nickel leading edge on it. This is, if you're ordering a prop, put that on there. Don't be a guy that wants to save 40 bucks a blade and don't put that on there. You know what? I was flying once. I hit a goddamn tree about that big around. You know what? Chop right through it. And I was doing probably 100 mile an hour. Tabernacle, eh? 
Anyway, that's it. There's a, this side of the motor here. You got the uh, rotary valve bottle right there. Dual carbs, bing, what are they, 54s or 64s, whatever the heck they are. And uh, what are they? I think big 54s. Yeah, anyway. Everything else in there. Everything else works great on this plane. That's the extra wire that came with the transducer for the fuel flow, which is actually located right down here somewhere. Is it down? I don't know if you can see it. It's mounted down there. It has to be mounted vertical. Fuel line, everything works great in this plane. Like I said, get it in and fly it anywhere. Yeah, I know I put that sticker in there one night. Oh, probably five, six years ago. I always get a few columns with that. Powered by like homing. Sounds like a weed whacker. Not so like homing. on the other side. Yeah, I should have one on the other side too. No. It's called yeah. a long boy. Anyway, that's the video of a Kit Fox 4. 1050, you've seen all about it. There's one guy that flies it there. Another guy right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching my videos and have a great day.